Hi everyone, welcome back. Well, it's Sunday afternoon. It's been a super busy weekend of creating pockets and dashboards for you guys. Um, but I wanted to film my plan with me and I thought maybe this kit um, from Live, Love and Craft was a good one to use. I've had it for a long time. I'll just take it out of the packet and show you. I think these colors just go so beautifully with this planner. Um, I've got my file effects here as well, which I will use later. Um, but yeah, I just think these colors go really nicely with this kit. So let's have a look. It's called, uh, it's an add to cart kind of day, which I totally feel. And it's got these beautiful, um, illustrations of, you know, shopping type things. There's coat hangers here. There's all sorts of boxes and packaging and shoes and bags and things, which are fabulous, of course. Um, and it's kind of got like this online shopping layout here as well, which I really like. Uh, and of course Susie makes the kits with the um, double vertical boxes as well, which are really beautiful. Is this a vertical box too? Yes it is. Okay, these are all fully vertical boxes. And then we have deco um, icons, which are so pretty. I love them. Um, our days of the week and a bunch of labels more labels and then another full box here and lots and lots and lots of boxes and water trackers and then these flags and things which I find really pretty and our bottom washi very pretty and is that it? oh no one more lot of day, day covers as well and then these wash out and build you boxes. Oh, <laughs> she gives me so many box, so many sheets in a kit. Um, all right, so then we have the wash out full boxes as well. So that's the kit I want to use. Let's have a quick look at um, last week in my planner. So if I skip to this fabulously rainbow week. I really enjoyed this week. Um, it was just so pretty to look at. I have to say it was a terrible week in terms of getting things done though. Started off wonderfully with the birthday sessions um, but then work itself just was hard. It was a tough week. Um, so I didn't, you can see I've crossed off with the grey mild liner, the things that I did get done and it was very little compared to what I really wanted to get done. So all of this is going to have to carry over to the next week. Um, and a lot of it is here on this page as well. So some of this I can cross off because it has been done, but um, not as much as I'd like. So yeah, look, I thought the week was just beautiful. This kit is gorgeous. I love the addition of this washi here as well. It just was so fabulous. I really loved it. So here I am with my plan with me today on Sunday. And uh, I'm going to stick, I think, with the grid idea. Um, because I've got these boxes that I want to use. So let's find some grid paper. I don't even know if I've got any in here. Okay, here we go. So I've got a couple of sheets of grid paper here and I'm thinking I might do the all the things again on the front page just to kind of um, have a place to just put everything that needs to get done. And then inside, I'm thinking Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday and then I don't want to go any further than that. I think I might just leave the other column for weekend um, and it can be the personal to do's instead of having like the full page to do's for personal last time. I think I'll just stick with a column and see how that goes. So I'll start with the dates and see where we go from there. So I'll just grab out there's those ones and those ones. And I'm going to use the full washi as well this week. Um, I think I'll go the plain because I am going to put quite a bit of deco in here, I suspect. And I'll just grab some numbers as well. Okay, so I have these numbers from Coral Collective. And um, I just think the gold's quite nice with this um, particular kit. So tomorrow's the 17th. We'll start there, Monday the 17th. 
This week I actually have Outlook open in front of me. Now that I've moved my desk to here in the kitchen, which is where I film everything, um, I can just have Outlook open on the screen because that's where I capture all the meetings for work. And I'll just be able to work from that to figure out what on earth is happening this week. It's going to be another big one because, well, just life in general, but then catching up from this week where stuff didn't get done. So, can't wait. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead with putting these down. Oh, I'm never sure whether to go two in and leave a gap here or start right at the edge. I think I'll start just with a one. One grid line. Oh, yeah, so it's Sunday afternoon. It's 2.40 in the afternoon. And I should be on a Planner Jam call right now. But um, I've had a really busy weekend so far prepping stuff for orders so um, I very sadly ran out of pink foil now I knew that was going to happen and I ordered more um, from Spotlight but it has taken its sweet time getting here I know those of you in Victoria understand they know you guys know that um, all the shipping is very much delayed Australia Post has reduced capacity um, for deliveries so things are taking way longer than normal to get here which is completely understandable you know there's a lot of things going on right now but what that means is I'm hopeful that it comes tomorrow and then I can get those orders because the pink foil was the most popular I mean the the floral pattern was the most popular so Yes, it means that that one is the one that I ran out of, of course. And in fact, I've run out of everything now. The others are ready to go. Um, the teal and the rose gold. I've got, an, I've got those ready to pack. But I just have to print, um, to foil a few more of the hot pink. So hopefully I can get those done later once that arrives. Now, I don't know if there was a week. I don't remember seeing a weekend banner. So, I might use one of these. I might use this um, full box here. Either this, this week one or the top three one. Um, I think I'll do the this week one. Let's see now. I'm just thinking I might use some of these header strips on on the days themselves. And so I might use this Planner Girl one for the weekend. Because that certainly is the time that I do all the planner stuff. So, um... You know, I've often moved around the idea of having a weekend in the work planner and not having the weekend in the work planner. Um, I go from one direction to the other on that. But I now have the file effects set up for personal stuff, for the shop kind of stuff. And that's taking up most of my time on the weekends at the moment while I get organized. So, um, yeah, it's totally fine with me to have that stuff over there instead um, but it's always good as well I think just to have I mean not so much that I'm while I'm working from home but if I was going into the office um, it would be good to have um, a space like that one that I just made with that vertical box um, in the work planner so that I could um, write anything down that I needed to remember for personal stuff but since I'm working from home, I can have both planners open on my desk. And I do have both planners open on my desk, which is good. I'm really loving this kind of coffee colour. Very pretty. Alright, so I think I might go with some full boxes just to get us started. 
Um, Monday, of course, we have just the one meeting first up. I would normally have a few, but I'm not in the office, so I won't be there for um, that one. So I'm just going to leave a little gap for the meeting. Um, actually, I might leave slightly bigger because I'm sure I'll have two meetings that I think. I need to decide which ones I'm going to leave behind. I might leave the two plainer ones behind. So I don't have Saturday and Sunday. Oh no, actually I need less than that. Alright, Tuesday. Oh, that's a meeting I didn't know hap was happening. <laughs> okay. There are three meetings on Tuesday now. So I'm going to move this down a bit for Tuesday. I kind of like the idea of having the top space... You know, I used to do these just symmetrical across the middle of the page. But I don't mind the idea of having the space at the top dependent on how many meetings that I have. I think that's kind of cool because it means that the to-do list underneath can be shortened if it needs to be. Um, which makes sense. If you've got a ton of meetings, you don't have time for all the to-dos. So let's go with that idea and see what happens. Wednesday, just the one meeting... Thursday two meetings, but one of them is enormous. Oh, I hate that meeting. Oh man, I'm not excited. And Friday no meetings so far, so we'll see. Just this box here. And then I just will have to decide whether I want to put a box on the weekend as well. I'll to see how we go with the rest of the setup first. Oh, they're very pretty. Okay, I'll put the full boxes to the side for now. Oh, the washi. I really love the washi. Um, just deciding which one to put where. I think I'll put the shorter one on this side. And let's today stay within the confines of the boxes, sort of. Let's see. So obviously I'm not going to have enough for the second pay, like the next spread. So I have to decide what to put on that side. I have bought some washing with me. Of course I have. Oh, this is cute. It's got like a 3D. Let me just peel this up without tearing anything. Can you see there the little bag is slightly larger? I mean, goes underneath the line of the washi. So to fit that in, I just need to go up a little bit. Let's see on the back page. You know, I've got this little bit of washi left. I wonder if I could just put it on just one side. Like just there, just in the middle. Hmm. Okay, let's leave the bottom for, for the moment. We'll figure that out when we come to it. Alright, so that's quite um, a hefty, hefty bit of washi across the bottom there. Okay, I'm going to use these for my to-do list because I think this colour matches this kit perfectly. So I'm just going to pop these here and I reckon I might just go half off the first line and then I can come in on the second one. I did this in the rainbow spread last week and I quite enjoyed how it turned out. I like the kind of... Um, you know, zigzaggy pattern this makes. So I'll just give myself a few to do's for the day, maybe five. Okay, so I'll add the rest of these in and then I will be back. Okay, there's all our little to do dots in. Oh, so I might go ahead and put some stuff in the top for. Um, the meetings and we've got all of these like little guys here um, and we also have these and these so there's tons of different things we can use here 
So, let's see. I'm sure there's a coffee one here somewhere. Is there a coffee one? Oh, it's a plate. I thought it was coffee. Okay, that's cool. Then, if you can hear that digging sound, Gidget's trying to find herself a good spot on the rug. I, I, I don't know why. Okay, so I've got um, one main meeting in the morning on Monday. So I'll pop this sticker here for that. Tuesday, one has just appeared that I didn't know about. And I'll use the computer. Because of course it will be via Zoom. Um, and then we're having some trivia thing. I don't know, it's just popped up in my calendar. I vaguely recall um, people talking about it. Uh, it's just a thing to try to get people to connect with each other. Because we are spread out across the country. Not only are we in isolation, but in Victoria here, but um, the rest of the country is quite spread out. So. Uh, we have people in every city, any ca every capital city. So um, it's a virtual trivia thing over lunch on Tuesday. So I said I would go. I'll put it in, in there for that as well. One meeting on Wednesday, and I'll put the computer for that one as well because it's about our software package. And then two on Friday. Okay. I'm just going to put in a bit of deco. I want one thing to cover up this mess that I made down here. And I'm thinking maybe this mannequin is a good one just to pop there. The other thing I noticed is that there's these two strips here of skinny washi. So I think I'm just going to put those down one above the other on the weekend, uh, on this page I mean, and, and I'm going to learn from my mistakes and just let it hang off the page and I'll cut it. But I just don't want to cut it. I don't want it to tear the paper so I can't be bothered coming up with another solution today. I really love this plaid, it's very cute. If you were my scissors. Okay. Let's just chop off this excess here. And I think that's kind of it for um, what I want to put in the spread itself. I might just throw a bit of deco in. It's funny because none of us are actually shopping really, are we? But I am doing a little bit of online shopping lately. A lot of things for my shop itself, which is quite fun to have those things turning up. Wow, how crooked is that box? That is super crooked. Oopsie. Um, now, it's not payday this week, but I'm going to use this credit card one anyway, because I think it's cute. And let's use this little clothes rack down here. And I might use the stickers as well. And these earrings down here on this side, I think, are needed. And then on the Friday and weekend, let's grab this coffee cup, which I would normally have put on a Monday, but I didn't see it. <laughs> and we'll put these fab shoes just down here, as well as I think this little clothes. Um, little sweater on a hanger and one more I think the makeup can just sit here 
Okay, so all that's left is to decide whether I want anything under this here. Um, did I have some, yeah, some of these half boxes that are washed out. I think I'll use one of them. Even though it's not going to fit now with the other box, with that deco there. But let's just lift that back on itself. Actually, that's... Oh no, I've torn it. Okay, it can stay. I was just going to put a little header in if I could. And I think I still can. I remember there being a little, another Planet Girl one. Even though I've used one already, I'm going to use another one. I'm just going to put it here. Just as a reminder for the filming, etc. Okay, I'm thinking that's pretty cute. I'm loving the style. And now I'm going to set up the front page. Let's move you out of the way for the moment. I really want to use this um, double box because it is a double box and easy enough to use. There's also this one, which I didn't realize was a full double box as well. So uh, first I think some washi. And I have with me, well, let me show you. I have this stack of washi here, which are my favorite washi as you see all the time. And then the skinny ones and some tickle pink ones as well. So what I'm coming here for, I think, is this, this set. And I just want something to kind of contrast with the this one here. I'm thinking I might go with two separate ones. Obviously the rose gold would work quite nicely. But I don't know if I want to use rose gold. If I'm going to use rose gold, then I'm going to use this one, obviously. So let me just take a little bit because I'm going to hang it off. I'm going to center the, the full box sticker. So rather than wasting a whole bunch of this washi, although I pretty much have used the full amount now. And then this skinny one as well. Just above it. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. So then what I'm thinking is just centering this on the top here. Like so. I think that's pretty cute. And then I might grab this same copper one and put it across the top to like frame it out a little. And I was just thinking, just a little piece of this off the side as well. Okay, let's use one of these this week's stickers. I might use scissors. Oh. Tweezers, I think, to lie it down because um, I'm going to mess it up otherwise. Okay, that's that. And um, I thought I'd also grab this But First Coffee sticker just because that's my life. Actually, I want to grab a coffee sticker as well. I have a section called coffee. Oh, this one is also from Live, Love and Craft. I adore that sticker. I'm waiting to find a spot that's just perfect for it. Okay, that looks good. 
And then just whether I want to put anything else on here, but I think I don't. I think I'm good. I could add a bit of that deco. Oh, I was thinking about putting one of these full strips in, but I don't think I will. I think I'll just leave it. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it as is. So, tons of stuff left for another spread. You know, I always use most of the full boxes, but it does come with one, two, three, four, sorry, one, two, three, and then this double box, these two double boxes high. So, I mean, technically I could cut those in half. That would give me five, plus this one is six. So you could easily get another full spread out of this kit, and I will do so. Because um, it does also come with that extra uh, set of day covers here as well. And all these like other boxes that I didn't even use this time. And the washout boxes too. So there's tons of stuff to use in these kits. Super generous. Alright, so for this page, you know, I'm, I want to put down these dots, but also I don't really want to sit there and put down this whole line of dots. So I'm going to use my Zig pen again. I think that might be the way to do this. Okay, so I have my Zig clean colored dot pen in the grey, which is called platinum, I think. So I'm just going to put a, a bunch of those down the page here. like that. So much quicker than putting dots down today. I'm not quite ready after doing all the others. All right, so I think we're done. Let's have a look in the planner. So we have the front page to house all of the things that are happening for the week, just for work. I think that's probably the best. And then we have Monday through Thursday. These colours are very pretty. And then Friday and the weekend, if you like. Oh, I've got to put weekend. Now, I saw a weekend sticker in here, didn't I? I did, I did. It's very large, though. Oh, no, that's too big. I can't use that. Okay, can't find anything that I want to put there so I'm just going to write myself just write weekend up there and then that's it that is my little spread set up so I'll go and write everything in and I'll come back and show you how it looks and I'll see you all soon okay here we go so I've got my this week on the front page with all the things that I have to get done and I've had to put another little column of dots in because my list is too big. <laughs> I really like this um, full box here. I think it's pretty cute. And then I've just gone in and put my meetings into those boxes at the top of each day and um, populated the uh, to-do lists at the bottom of each day. So, you know, busy week. Um, it was really good actually to sit down and go through all of this. Um, Last week was such a big week that a lot of stuff just didn't even get looked at or considered in any way because there was just no time. We had a few dramas blow up. So, um, you know, when we have to put out fires, there's just no time to do the real work. So um, it was good to kind of just get a grip on what was required to get done this week. And I really, really, really need to get some of these things just off my plate. Otherwise, they're just going to keep extending and extending and I have deadlines to meet. So, um, yeah, so that's that. Friday I've left blank. There is no, there are no meetings and I just need to get last month's analytics done because I still haven't done that. So I need to get that done. And then I've filled out a whole bunch of things. It's kind of almost just a reminder for me for my A5 Filofax shop planner kind of thing. Um, but I just wanted to pop them in here to make sure... If I'm just flicking through my week during the week, I can get an idea of some of the things I could get done in the evenings. Um, so, yes, that's helpful to have there, I think. Okay, that's it for me. That's the end of my plan with me for the week. I feel like it's getting a bit chunky, so I might have to take out some of those... Um, dailies, uh, weeklies that I'm not using. That card, that rainbow card is quite thick. I might take it out. 
my note section is pretty choppers and I do use it a lot so I probably need to go through and condense those notes into some um, usable information um, so I will do that at some point as well so yeah that's the end of that plan with me for the week I hope you enjoyed it thanks so much for watching and I will see you all again super super soon thanks guys bye